trying to put my glasses on and I've already got my glasses on. <laughs> Good afternoon, everybody. Just refreshing my screen. There we go. Whoops, let's get some of this stuff out of the way. Everything's lined up. Jackie, Sharon, Naomi, how are we all doing, girls? Right. Just getting myself slightly organised. I do use that loosely. Hope you're all having a wonderful afternoon. I thought this afternoon, as part of the Great International Craft Show here in Australia, I would have a little bit of a play with some alcohol inks. We have got uh, we've got alcohol inks on special today at fifteen percent off on nataliemay.com.au. We have uh, quite a range of other products, in core, including All and Create and. Uh, all of our stencils and stamps are at all of sorry all of our stencils are 15 percent off as well so we have got plenty of options for you on nataliemay.com.au and uh today yeah i just thought i'd come back in here and have a bit of a play with some alcohol ink and some stencils and make a couple of little projects uh, so for those of you who have um, seen my live Facebooks before, I am very much a let's just wing it and see what happens sort of person. And I have a little bit of a plan in mind today. Um, not too much of a plan. I don't want to completely burst your bubble and say that I'm organised. But I am wanting to play with alcohol inks and stencils. Um, I did do a very small amount of preparation. I know, I know. But um, and I'm just getting out a few colours. As you can see, there's a bit of a, a formula here to what I'm getting out. I have got a range of blues and I've got a range of um, so cool colours and warm colours. Uh, and I'm just flicking through mine here, trying to make sure that I, I get a nice little collection. Uh, and yeah, we're going to have a bit of a play. So you can jump online to nataliemay.com.au and for today only, you will get um, alcohol inks, which is what we're about to play with, at 15% off. And you will also get All and Create stamps, which I'm got, I've done a little bit of preparation with my All and Create stamps. Um, so you will get those at a discounted price as well. Um, just, just cutting up some of my Yupo paper. So I'm just having, hello, Linda. Hello, Faye. I'll try and read your comments as I go. Um, but today we are, I'm not wanting to do anything super specky and, and over the top. I'm just wanting to have a little bit of a basic play with mixing with, with alcohol inks and mixing different colors together uh, and a couple of very small different techniques. All right. So um, you, you just having a general play, creating some simple backgrounds ready for you. Now, alcohol inks are really fun. There's a couple of things that make alcohol inks work great. And first and foremost, it's this cardstock here that I'm using, which is called Yupo. It is a synthetic cardstock. You need something uh, to create. Uh, you need a surface to create on that is going to hold 
what we put all the pigment that we're putting on all the alcohol inks so what happens with the alcohol inks is it allows us to the upo paper allows us to move it around and move the ink around and then the alcohol evaporates and to, to go from there so you can have a bit of a play with um lots of different techniques now i see Faye's popping some ideas up <laughs> up in the comments there are so many very awesome things that you can do but, but like i said i'm going to keep it super simple today first thing is i'm going to pop some gloves on because alcohol inks do stain your hands just a little and i've just had my nails done last week so i really didn't want to completely ruin that manicure right so i have got a puppy training pad down in the background to soak up any uh, color and anything that any overflow a um, couple of other things i have handy i have got a heat tool here somewhere here we go i have some uh, blending solution and i have a pile of pre-cut pieces ready to go um, now what I want to do is have a chat about the different sorts of alcohol inks um, I've got some here that I'm going to have a bit of a play with we have got a metallic alcohol ink we have got a glitter alcohol ink we have got the plain alcohol ink and we also have a pearl alcohol ink these are the main four that I have available um, to sell on nataliemay.com.au so of course the pearl is exactly that when you give it a bit of a shake you can see that there's that pearl in the bottom there um, and they do leave a lovely pearlescent finish the glitter accents are exactly that they've got a beautiful glitter finish to those and then we have got the metallic alloys which have a metallic finish and then the planes of course so let's pop some of these down and have a bit of a play before i do anything else i find it easier to take my lids off ready to go because this is something that is a pretty quick moving sort of process everything kind of happens at once so i'm going to take some of these lids off and then get in there now on my um on our private facebook group natalie may Scra scrapbooking creative community one of my lovely longtime customers amanda jumped on a couple of months ago and did a sunday afternoon tutorial on different things that you can do with alcohol inks she she does a completely different take on it than what i do and made some great pieces of artwork so you can always jump on there and have a look scroll through the videos and you will find uh you'll find her videos there as well all right so i have a piece of six by four yupo and all i'm going to do is get some of the blending solution down and what the blending solution does is just lays down a bit of a base for the alcohol inks to move around on so this is the pearl that i'm just dropping in some pearl piece bits first and then i'm going to pop some simple drops on top so you can see what's happening the collar the the Yupo paper is allowing it to sit the ink to sit on top and because we put down that drop those um that blending fluid first it is sitting quite nicely and it's kind of pooling except for that bit there that i missed and i can just let that sit and dry and it's going to dry just like that so i'm going to pop that aside to dry Oh, I'm going to try not to move it around too much. Oh, I have moved it around too much, but that's okay. Now, when you're doing alcohol inks, it's a great idea to do it in a well-ventilated place. You will find that um, it can get a little fragrant um, and you'll find that, um, or you could wear a mask to, because uh, the, the smell of the alcohol is, is pretty severe. This is a transparent Yupo paper, synthetic paper. So I'm going to have a bit of a play with this one now. Um, I'm gonna start with a dark color. And you can see where I've just put 
the blending solution and I'm going to go in with a glitter accent. So I'm going to give it a bit of a shake first to get that colour off the bottom or get the glitter off the bottom. Like so. Now I've got one of these little um, air puffers that I'm just going to move the ink around on. Now the other thing you could do and what my lovely friend Amanda did is she used one of these dropper bottles that we have available in our tools section to make up a little mix of your own colors. So you could quite easily pop in some isopropyl alcohol um, and we could flood out some of this with a lighter shade. Um, I didn't actually have any isopropyl alcohol handy, um, but today so that's not going to work for me um, so I can't show you that technique so you have to join the the Facebook community and have a bit of a look now I've got some ice blue metallic now that I'm just going to pop over the top and I'm going to use the end of an old paintbrush just to move it around a bit while it's still wet Where's my, here we go. And then I'm gonna use the directional air to create some nice little movements in the ink. So the really cool thing about these is, is they just dry up beautifully and you can build and you can play and you can create some really, really interesting effects. You can be all arty and um, with your with a, a puffer or a straw, you could create some um, different different sort of techniques. You could draw flowers, you could do all sorts of bits and pieces. But today I'm just gonna keep it super simple. So they are really, really fun. And I and, and learning when to stop is really important. I'm terrible at that. I feel like I wanna fill up the whole page. That's one of those me things. So this tra transparent one is beautiful. It's come up very nice. And pretty and I might add oh, I feel like I need to add a little bit more here and here so I'm gonna go in with not that color a little bit of depth and I'm gonna move that around so just a few little drops here and there you don't have to go fancy you just want to Take your time, you'll get a nice little effect, like so. And it's really quite effortless. And I, that's what I quite like about it, it's effortless. Just takes a little bit of... Right, and now I'm gonna leave it alone. Okay, so I'm going to pop that aside to air dry. All right, now let's have another go and do another one in these colours. So I'm going to mix up my colours a bit just to show you before we get onto the stencils. So I have a fluoro pink here. I have a glitter accents peach. So when I, Vicky, Vicky's commented, hello Vicky and Judy. Um, saying the loving the colors, some of the favorite colors. So a little bit of a tip is to always choose colors that are of a similar color family. Um, if I mix yellow with purple, I'm going to make a really lovely shade of brown. And making brown is not as visually pleasing. It doesn't look as nice. Um, so have a little bit of a think about the colors that you want to put down. What's wrong with a poo page? No, we don't want to make a poo page. Thanks, Lou. So spreading out my lubricant, we can call it, our blending solution. Um, I've got some geranium down. Then this is one of the Glitter Accents Pink. I've got a peach, which I need to give it a bit of a shake. And I'll finish with a little fluoro. And now I can puff it around. I can use my heat tool to blow it as well. This is probably my favorite thing to do 
because it creates these lovely lines. You don't want to dry it off too much because it will melt your synthetic paper, which um, doesn't look as effective. But you can see what's happened there. It's, it's dried with these really lovely um, ridges. So Vicky's just asked, what is that clear liquid that I used? So this is our blending solution. So it helps us move the colors around. So if I, the difference with putting it down and not putting it down is that this offers like a lubricant to, um, to get it to move on your, on your project. So if I just drip this on like here, you can see that it's sticking to just where that lubricant is. If I put a color on the outside of the lubricant, it moves, but it gives a slightly different effect. All right, so it does kind of, I do like it with that lubricant, that, that blending solution, and that's what it is. It's a blending solution to help it blend. So now I'm just gonna use my little puffer my little puffer my little air mover but yeah so the blending solution allows it to dry or to move around on the onto the on the synthetic paper okay so that's what that is there for um and i'm just going to lift that up so that's on the and you can see the little bits of glitter coming up as well so um i'm just going to let that air dry now uh, something that I really, really love to do is use these alcohol inks with stencils. Now, I have got a couple here drying off on the side because it's a really, really fun thing to do. So I have got my Yupo paper. I have got um, a stencil. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this in alcohol inks. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna do one in, um, I'll do one in this, in pinks first of all, and I am going to cover it. Now I'm just using alcohol inks to start with. I am not using anything else. I'm not gonna use any blending fluid. I'm just gonna squirt it all on there, like so. And I might drop in a little bit, oh, purple. We'll put some purple in there. Louise, would you grab me my stencil pencil case, please? Because I, for some bizarre reason, only grabbed one stencil. <coughs> All right, I'm just gonna get in here. I'm being a bit generous with my... Is that one you want? That's the one I want. So being a bit generous there and I might pop in a little bit of blending solution now to help move it around a bit and just dabbing it with my fingers and then what happens is we put that down on the floor to dry just like that so I'm just going to pop that down next to me on the floor to dry and I'll do a, another one. So you can also do this on a glossy cardstock as well. A glossy cardstock is going to also give you that little bit of time that you need to move the alcohol inks around. So if I do the same thing here, I've got my scribble stencil and I'll do one in different colors. Um, I might start off with this one. Oh, let's finish that bottle. And put it straight in the bin. And I'm going to pop a green on. So I've got a metallic green. And my stencil is just a little bit dirty, as you can see, but it's not going to make much difference because it's acrylic paint that's sitting on top of it, so it won't be a problem. And I've got a lighter colour there. 
So this is just something that is, yeah, totally different to do. So now I'm just gonna pat my fingers into it to help spread it around. And I'm gonna drop in some cobalt glitter accents. because this is the only way that I like glitter in alcohol inks. Not a big fan. Right, so that is, is um, what's happening of course is all of the ink is in the cardstock and the alcohol element to it is evaporating. pop that down on the floor as well. Um, let's just keep on having a bit more of a play. So if I didn't use the blending solution, what needs to happen is um, you need to kind of move a little bit faster. So if I start here with a line of navy blue next to some mermaid. Now I am doing this on Yupo and I'm gonna put some of that glitter accents through the middle. And I'm gonna just puff out some color. It doesn't move as well, and that's okay. It just gives a completely different effect. So I might pop some more over here and let's create some lines of color. So I'm gonna push that into there, moving that color around. There's just so many really amazing things that you can do with alcohol inks. Um, there's tutorials on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook for days and days and days. But what I love is doing this. It's just making these pretty backgrounds that I can then use for die cutting or stencil over the top of or stamp over the top of even. So um, what I am going to do today is I'm going to make a little, a little card out of them. Oh, I've just got some afternoon sun coming through at the moment, guys. So if you get a little bit of... <laughs> bit of lighting, weird lighting going on. Um, I've had my curtains open because it's been a beautiful day, overcast, lovely for filming. Um, and then of course, all of a sudden, sun comes out with no, with no heat behind it. It's like, it's ridiculously cold. <coughs> so again, and I can't stress this enough, if you have a sensitive nose, and highly reactive to um, super smelly things, then this is not for you. Uh, it is quite fragrant, and that is because it is, it's got alcohol in, in of course, these inks. It's super pretty. Popping that aside, and I'll do a big pink one as well. So you, you know, I didn't use any. Uh, I'll do that on. Do do this one on transparent. I didn't use any blending solution with this. It's just straight alcohol ink. So I'm going to go up through the middle with mulberry. Oh, what other colours have I got here that I can have a play with? A little bit of amber. Um. I've got some burnt sienna, which is a glitter. Oh, well, that's pretty. Um, sunflower. Oh, sorry about that light coming through, guys. I know it's not the 
easiest thing to look at at the moment. Um, yeah, Lou, can you pull my curtain shut, please, love? Thank you. <coughs> Hold your breath. I know, it's a bit stinky for you. So I'm just layering up all of my colours this time. Now, it looks like it's a bit transparent. You can see all those blotches from the other, um, from the background coming through. I'm just looking for, I've got coral, that's what I'm looking for. Got another pink there. So this is nothing else, no blowing, no moving. And I'm just going to put that aside to evaporate and dry. Obviously, I had a bit of blue going on there, so and that's on the other side, and I can't change that. Okay, I've started rocking it and rolling it now, so I'm going to commit to it. I'm going to move this glitter around, and now I'm going to put it aside. Oh, or apparently under my foot. Okay. So having a bit of a play. So next thing I want to do is show you what I've done earlier. So I've done those two. I've shown you how to layer the stencils over the top. What I'm going to do now is earlier I um, I prepared some. I'm just going to get these out of the way. I prepared some backgrounds by stenciling with the alcohol inks, and they have been drying for about half an hour. So I'm going to peel them off to show you how amazing they look and let's put down some paper towel here so this isn't so distracting okay so what I've done is use some all and create stencils so all and create uh, as you know are all on special today at 15% off and so are stencils so this is an all and create stencil and I have just done exactly that same technique and what I'm going to do now is just peel that stencil off. And we have created this really cool background. I just let it dry sitting on top there and that's it. And I love that. See how clever that is? Um, now, I've got this filthy, dirty stencil. I'm just going to pop that aside because... Um, in a moment, I'm going to give it a spray with some hand sanitizer, and we're going to uh, we're going to use that as well. Here's another one. So here's another stencil that is stuck down to some glossy cardstock, uh, and I'm going to peel that off. <laughs> All right. So that is really cool. So can you imagine all the different backgrounds that you can create just by allowing your stencil to dry? So I'm just going to pop that one aside. And then lastly, this one is another big all and create stencil that is awesome for using on a gel plate. This one I went with purples and greens and blues. So let's peel it off. That's really pretty. So I've used glitters in this one and metallics. So that's looking pretty great. So now I also have these dirty stencils. I'm going to pop my gloves back on. Um, now you can get some um, hand sanitizer and you can get hand sanitizer in a spray can. Um, I'm just going to go and grab that and grab another set of gloves because I just took those off a bit prematurely and I can't get them back on. Sorry about that. 
And now I've got my gloves and this is just, I think I got this at Woolworths. Um, I can't find my isopropyl alcohol bottle. I have a sinking suspicion that it's gone home. So I'm gonna spray my stencil with that and then I'm going to flip it onto my cardstock. And hope that it works. Ah, it has worked. It's worked beautifully. All right. So this is certainly a technique that we probably wouldn't normally do, uh, creating some quick and simple backgrounds. I could do this time and time again. I've got another piece here. This is the transparent. I will do it with this stencil, which is the dirty side, this one. Bit of pressure. Lift it off. Ooh. Not wet enough. There we go. So if we were to do this technique, I could have done this on normal paper and it would have looked fantastic. Um, I'm gonna pop that aside to dry. Uh, you could do this on so many different, like you could do this element of it where you're transferring the ink off a stencil on lots of different surfaces and it would work quite well. Um, so this is the first dirty stencil. Drop it on there. This time, because my gloves are dirty, I'm just gonna roll the paper towel over it. Oh, beautiful. And that's the transparent Yupo paper. I love that. All right, so that's worked really well. So great little cards and things like that. Okay. So I'm just quickly going to pop those aside. Have I finished with alcohol if I take my glove off? Uh, I'm going to dry, pull up some of these off the floor and let's have a look at them and see if they need drying. So this one, has dried up really nice. It's got, you see that glitter? Look at that. That's a bit nice. <laughs> there we go. That's the one that I put the stencil on earlier. And this one, you can see that lovely glitter in there as well. I was a bit heavy handed with a couple of these and they're still quite wet. Oh, this is drying up really pretty. So the transparent Yupo is really unique because it it allows you to then pop something else behind it, so a black cardstock or or something like that, and you can then build on 
you know, building a lovely background. Um, you can stamp her or stencil over the top of these as well and you'll get an excellent finish too. All right, so this one's got the pearl in it and it's got a really lovely sheen to it. Oh, and this one had a little incident on the floor where I dropped my stencil on it. So this has given a really different effect. Um, so let's just dry this up. I'm just going to take that excess ink off. I love the lines that it's dried. That looks really cool. And finally, this one here that we did before. Still wet, but I'm going to peel it up anyway. desk isn't big enough all right and I'm just I've just got just off camera just on the side here that wet stencil I've just popped onto a piece of gloss cardstock and just given it a, ever such a, a small squirt of blending solution just to reactivate it again so because that wasn't wet you can see how it's losing its shape but it's still creating something really different and something that um, if I pop, popped it aside to dry, will look really good. So I don't mind that at all. Right, put it aside. Okie dokie, let's peel up this one. So this is just the dirty stencil. Yeah, not bad. Oh my gosh, the mess. All right, let's make, you're loving the green and blue stencil. Yeah, look, I've got a, I've got a hot mess here. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna quickly show you what we can do with them because then you go, oh, okay, so this is all great. This is all pretty, this is all fun. What do I do with them all? Well, let's, let's make something. So I'm just going to pop some of these. I'll give you one last quick look. So simple, simple and effective because that's what we want. We don't necessarily have to be complicated and um, technical. We just really just want to make something pretty, don't we? So this is that transparent one. Look at that shimmer the glitter accents. So alcohol inks are all 15% off for today only. Pop those down on the floor. And this guy here looks pretty great. And then we're gonna revisit these ones that I did with the stencils before because they have they're looking great. Just gonna get that guy. That's actually drying up pretty cool. I like it. Keep that there. Let's just find a home for that. Just bear with me a sec, guys, because it's all happening. It's all happening. Um, okay. Turn it over. So that's kind of great. I do love that. Excuse me. So what I did a little earlier, seeing today is All and Create Day, where we have got All and Create products on special. What I wanted to do is show you a couple of things that we can easily add to our add to these guys to, to make them look really effective. Um, I really do need to photograph that before I cut it up because it is just so amazing. So I'm gonna use this one, and oh, look at this. This is dried up, great. Can you see that glitter? Are you laughing at me, Louise? <laughs> yeah. You're admiring your own work. I am, of course I'm admiring my own work. Do you want me to take photos before you come? 
No. I'm not going to cut these ones. I'm going to make cards out of the other ones because oh, that one's super pretty. Okay. Okay. It'll make a nice thank you card. All right. I love this one. So I'm going to make something out of this one. Here's something I prepared earlier. So All and Create have got these gorgeous little people stamps. So I have stamped up three and I have colored them using watercolor paints. So let's do that. I've got some water here. And I cut them out because it was just too hard to do that on camera and you don't need to see me do that. So here is one that I stamped using my stamp press. And I want to colour that to stick that onto here to make a little three-inchy, a little, a little three-inch square. So I'm going to use the Natalie May paints. So these are my new paint set. I have got a thin paintbrush here and I really want to just colour her in so she is super cute and conveniently discounted so something i like to do is make my own colors up so i've got here just off cat well here i've got a wetting them and i start to make a little puddle in my paint well so i've got a red and a purple and i want to grab some white and i'm going to mix the colors together to make a pink so sometimes when there's no color that you need, you can just make your own. And that is where having white in a paint set is super important. So this little paint set we have got on special uh, for $12.50, down from $14.50. Now this isn't watercolor card or anything fancy. This is just Kaiser Craft white cardstock. All right, so I've just made up that color. Um, that little pink. What else have we got here? It's got a blue. Pop a little in there. It doesn't look like much going on in here, but there's enough in there for me to be able to work with because I'm only working on a small area. So I want to make more of a teal sort of green. So if I mix these three colors together, I have got a bit more blue in it. I've got this really nice <laughs> oops. Now it also comes the paint set also comes with a paintbrush and I don't really know why I'm not using that one. And I really should be because it's thinner than this one. And I'm being so I'm doing it, bring, bring it up close to camera because it's much easier for you to see. This is the uh, Crafty Girl. Got a little yellow, a bit of water. Just a trick to remember with watercolors is you need water to activate them. So never dip into a palette unless your water is, so your brush is, is wet. You really do need to have water. I know it sounds obvious. Oh, and don't mix those two colors together. Bugger. Problem solved. Okay, let's start again. I want a yellow with a bit of orange. There we go. And it's a lot of fluffing around there, but the color works. And then for her hair, I'm going to go with a brown with a bit of gray in it. Just lightening it up a bit. That's the color I'm making because I wanted like a, a dirty brown. She's due for a colour. Correct. Thanks, Lou. Getting it on there. Just letting it pull up. So what quite what I, what happens, so you see how I'm just taking, wash my brush, take all the water off the inside. 
the paper towel and here where I've got a puddle I'm just using my brush to soak up any excess where I was a bit heavy-handed because I'm not really paying attention okay now I need to do a skin tone so I've got a pink made up here already so let's grab some more white and I'm going to pull in some of that orange and make up a new color that could easily represent a Caucasian skin tone. Okay, so test it first. Oh yeah, that'll do. She's a little pink, but that's okay. And then I'm just gonna use a wet brush, take it to the edges. What's going on there? And I'm happy with that. Um, I'm gonna leave her eyes big and white and bold. Uh, and I'm going to colour in her little paint palette in a bit of green, a few green dots there. Actually, I'll do the whole thing green. And then I can go in here and dot over the top with another colour. So you can colour this in in anything you like, including the Copics that we have out on a mega clearance at the moment. If you need to top up with your Copic markers, we have got Copics from $4.50, okay? I am uh, running them out. I am not stocking Copics anymore. They are taking up valuable shelf space and um, we would like to give them to you at a great price. So quite a few of you have been shopping up a storm with your Copic markers, so get on to that today. All right. That's rough as guts, but here's one I prepared earlier. How cute is she? And has a little achua. There he is. And my little Frida. Whoops, there we go. I think she's super cute. And now I'm going to cut those and put them into little, I might just make little tags actually. That's a good idea. That's a better idea because it's quick and it's easy. So a pair of scissors because I can't reach my trimmer. Oh, you got the yawns there, Lou. That's because you got the heater on 35 degrees. All right, a couple of little bits here. I want to add some stamping to my background. So the stamp that I have handy at the moment is my Won't Let You Down word stamp. And I'm going to stamp with black over that. Look at the mess. All right, and I'm going to create some easy little background. Um, so this weekend, as part of the Great International Craft Show, you will find me here three times a day, you lucky things, doing demonstrations and showing you how to play with alcohol inks or stamping or stenciling or art journaling. I'm going to create an art journal page this afternoon in my Dina Wakeley Craft Journal and I'm going to use another one of my new collage papers. Um, good to go? Yeah. Now, another little exciting thing. Just are by Marlene a new for... Yeah. So another little exciting thing. Keep an eye on the new for July category on the website. Okay. <coughs> and we will... <coughs> have some pretty cool things going up soon that uh, will not be discounted because um, they are brand spanking new. Um, so keep an eye on that. We are busy, busy, busy getting that done. So a little bit of stamping in the background and I'm going to grab a black pen. Oh, first world problems with the black pens, but let's go with, I don't even know what that one, I don't know if this one works. I'm going to do a little black border. And no, it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. 
Black Sharpie, guaranteed to work. Okay, a little bit of a black border. I'll straighten that up after. This one's looking pretty great because it's got a real lovely metallic look. But I do love a black border because what a black border can do is tie everything together really, really nicely. So yes, some of the, you just comment, well, Lynn's just commented saying that you like the colours in the paint palette. The cool thing about the colours in the paint palette is that you can mix colours if you don't have something that you like. So of course, if you wanting, if you're wanting to, like I did, I didn't have a pink in there, but that's okay. What I do have is the ability to make a pink. That one, there we go, that looks great. Um, so I'm going to add a couple of little finishing touches on these guys and take some photos and then I'm gonna pop them up online just to show you how they look as a finished product. All right, so um, super duper fun. That's it from me today. Um, so jump online to nataliemay.com.au and you will find for today being Friday the 15th of J July, I nearly said August, uh, 15th of July, we have got 15% off alcohol inks, 15% off all and create products, 15% um, off of stencils, and you can take advantage of the no judgment postage, which means all orders after you pay for your first lot of postage, um, are a dollar and uh, under three kilos we put them all together and post them out to you Monday or Tuesday. Uh, local people your orders will be ready to collect from Wednesday when we are open to the public again. Um, so if you want to check out the video created by uh, Amanda have a look in the Natalie May scrapbooking creative community in the video section and you'll find an excellent tutorial on how to use alcohol inks in a different way to what I've shown you today. Hope you're all having a fabulous day. Thank you for tuning in and I will see you at 3.30 for an art journal page. Bye.